All right, hello guys. In this video, I am going to be doing a short comparison of C Sharp and Java. I'm going to be making this into a series where there's multiple videos of me comparing different things about Java and C Sharp. In this one, I'm sad to say, I'm going to be showing why Java may not be as good as C Sharp. But this is only one aspect of Java and C Sharp, and there's many other things that uh, Java can do that C Sharp can't, and C Sharp can do that Java can't. So let's just get to it so uh, a Java application isn't an actual win32 application so you can't open things with it um, this is the application I made in uh, C sharp and the one that I made in Java so if I run this uh, it's just a blank window there's no title or anything and if I run this it I made it into a console application so it's two different things I had to make this into a graphical uh, a graphical program just for this and this one just had to be a console program um, so if you were to drag and drop and a file to your program it will become an argument for your program and drag and dropping it I set it so that if you drag and drop that it will take that argument and set it as the title so as you can see here it set it as the title um, but you can't do that with Java it just won't do anything it just replaced the location of the program in order to open up a Java program with a argument you need to make a run dot bat or just any dot bat really and this is how I did it um, it starts the program and then it adds the argument arguments which is this file right here and I'll run this and it set the title to be arguments so that's obviously a good thing that C sharp can do that because you can just drag and drop and then it will open the file and do whatever you want with it accordingly um, because I really like that feature in C sharp because I use that a lot to debug things and really just it adds to what I can program and how easy it is to do that but it's a little bit harder well it's a little bit more complicated you need to do a couple more processes to do that um, but it's not that bad considering that um, I learned when I learned Java I only did console applications so I was used to running it with a bat dot bat but of course in the next episode I'm gonna be showing you guys some things that Java can do better than C sharp so thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this new series and first video on my channel like hit the like button below if you like this series and subscribe if you want to see more coding stuff and goodbye